everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. If it's your first time on my channel, hello, my name is Anne and if you have been here already, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you a super easy, glamorous eye look, which doesn't require too much steps. But before I go in with any eyeshadow, I'm first going to prime my eyelids. I'm using my all-time favorite eyeshadow primer, which is the MAC Cosmetics Pink Pot in the color Soft Ochre. And to apply this, I'm using a P84 brush, which is included in my brush kit, which I created together with Sigma Beauty. Um, this is the perfect kit to create any eye look. Um, I'm using it in all my upcoming videos. So the first one I use is the P84 brush, um, which I'm using right now. And I love to use this one to apply my eyeshadow primer. Now today I'm gonna use this Huda Beauty Matte and Metal. Um, one side is like a matte product and the other side is more like a shimmery product. And I'm taking the Sigma Beauty E25 brush, which you just saw on the screen, which is also included in my brush kit. And I'm gonna use this to apply it over the eyelid. First, I really focus like on packing on the product. And then later on, I'm gonna switch to this brush, which is more of a kind of synthetic blending brush. And I'm gonna use this to blend it more out like around the edges because um, it's like a cream product so it can look quite harsh on the eyelid if you just pack it on so you definitely want to go in with a blending brush as well to make the edges look more soft now if you don't have this product from Huda Beauty you can go in with an eyeshadow color which is the same color um, this doesn't have to be a cream product this can also be like a powder eyeshadow the only difference that's gonna make is that this cream product is more long wearing but regardless if you use a nice primer underneath the eyeshadow which is a powder consistency is gonna stay in place as well. So now I'm gonna take this palette from Colourpop and I'm taking this blending brush from my brush kit together with Sigma Beauty. And I'm gonna start with blending this in the outer V. First kind of packing it on like I always do in this area. And then I'm gonna kind of make circular motions and blend it out. Now what this is gonna do, like by applying this eyeshadow in the outer V, it's gonna give you more depth. When you would compare it to like only using one shade all over the eyelid, which I just did. Um, and just keep it that way. Um, I feel like when you use a dark shade like I'm doing right now, um, it just gives more depth, gives more darkness in outer V and I feel like it just gives a really beautiful effect. So it's only one step extra and it just makes a huge difference to the whole eye look. So I would definitely recommend if you're used to doing only one color to try adding a darker shade in outer V because it's gonna make a huge difference. So now I went back in with the Huda Beauty. Now I'm using the other side, which is more of a shimmery side as you can see. First, I just used the applicator of the product itself to kind of apply it on the eyelids and then I went in with this eyeshadow brush um, which is the same one we used earlier to apply the matte cream product and I'm first gonna kind of pack it on to kind of type of excess product and then blend it around the edges to make it less harsh because you can see a very visible line of where I applied the eyeshadow and you want it to look soft so you just have to kind of blend around the edges to kind of make it less harsh and this way it's also going to blend nice into the other products we used before. You just want everything to really blend into each other and look soft. So that's why you want to keep blending and blending until you achieve this result. So after doing this, um, I decided to take a Sigma Beauty F35 brush and kind of tap off excess product, which has fallen underneath the eyes. And now I'm going to use this brand new gel eyeliner, which I received in the mail from Ilamasca. First time ever trying out something from their brand. Um, and I wanted to try by... I wanted to start by using this gel eyeliner from them. I'm taking my Sigma Beauty E75 brush, I believe it's called. It's the angled brow brush and I'm going to use that to create my wing liner. Also included in my brush set together with Sigma. And I'm going to create first a simple line above the lash line. And then after that, I'm going to create the wing liner. So I also have a few other products from Ilamasca, which I'm definitely going to include in one of my upcoming videos. Um, I've seen so many people using their brand on social media, but for some reason I never got my hands on any of their products. Even though I think their products look so beautiful. I love their packaging. It looks kind of luxurious. So I was really excited to play with their product today. Um, I do feel like comparison... If I would compare this gel eyeliner to the one that I always use, which is the Maybelline gel eyeliner, I think the gel eyeliner from Maybelline is a little bit more black. So 
the Maybelline one is also less expensive. So I'm not sure if this is like the best gel eyeliner I've ever tried. Definitely not. Um, but I have a few other products from their band as well, which I'm going to try in my upcoming videos. And of course, I'm going to let you guys know my opinion. I do think this gel eyeliner is really creamy, um, but I think it could be a bit more black. I wasn't like super happy with how it was looking. That's also the reason I'm going in with a liquid liner on top of it. Um, I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Matte Liquid Liner, regardless of the liquid no, regardless of the gel eyeliner not looking super black, I would do this step anyway. I always go in with liquid liner on top of gel eyeliner. Um, but I feel like a liquid eyeliner on top of a gel eyeliner makes it just so much more black. Um, I al also feel like layering different products on top of each other makes it more stand out. So that's also one of the reasons. And then now I'm taking the Sigma Beauty E50 brush with the same color we used earlier to... Uh, darken up the outer V and I'm going to use this color underneath the lower lash line. Of course, every step I'm doing at one side, I'm also doing on the other side, but I always focus on one eye only in videos because if I would show like each step on one eye and also on the other eye, it's going to be a very long video, but sometimes I do include application. Kind of depends on how I'm feeling. <laughs> so now I'm taking a tiny blending brush and sweeping my brush back and forth and blending out the color to make it more soft. I always go in with a tiny blending brush and I sweep it back and forth because I don't like a very harsh under eye application. Then I'm taking a pencil for in the wad line. Um, I'm not sure what the name is, but I will make sure to link it down in the description bar. Um, I believe this one was from Shuei Cosmetics, if I'm not mistaken. Haven't tried this shade before, but I really liked how it was looking in like combination with the eyeshadow colors I used. Um, I do think I had to kind of press really hard to get like a really nice color payoff in the wall line but regardless i did like how it looked but not sure if i would recommend so now i'm taking this highlighting shade from the jacqueline hill and morphe volume number one palette um you don't necessarily have to use this shade um this is my personal favorite in a corner highlight um and the color palette i used before did not really have like a light color which is really nice for the inner corner. So that's why I decided to go in with this one. But you can also use one of your favorite highlighters and pop that in the inner corner if you like that. You can use any color you like. <laughs> then now I took a tiny pencil brush with a little bit of the shimmery color from the Huda Beauty liquid, which we used all over the eyelids. And I decided to apply a little bit underneath the lower lash line as well. I felt like something was missing. I found I looked to look a bit too basic. So I decided to add that shimmer as well. And then I went in with the Benefit Cosmetics Roller Lash Mascara for my mascara. And I'm so sorry that mirror is constantly blocking the view. Super annoying. Um, I will make sure that doesn't happen in my upcoming video. So annoying like when I add up my videos and I'm like... Come on and don't do that. <laughs> but I can't change it anymore. But yeah, here you have the finished result. I really hope you all enjoyed. I know this is an eye makeup only, but I will make sure to make my next upcoming video a full face video again. And if you're curious, like on every product that I use for my face, I will make sure to link it down in the description bar. And I will be also posting a picture on my Instagram um, where I'm using the whole makeup look not using where I'm showing the whole makeup look but in the picture on my Instagram I did apply like a lot more highlighter I wanted that look to be super glowy this is more like the, the matte version in my video but yeah I really hope you all enjoy don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy let me know if you're gonna try it out um, or if you're gonna try any of my other videos and yeah I just hope you enjoyed at the end of my video you're gonna see all the recreations you guys have tagged me in on social media the last couple of days and thank you so much for sending them i always love seeing your recreations if you did recreate one of my looks don't forget to tag me so i can share it in my upcoming video and once again thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you all in my next video bye bye <laughs>